Hello everyone and welcome back. Hello. Uh, oh. So today I thought I'd get ready and just chat with you a little bit. I haven't done a chatty tutorial in ages. I don't know if you still like these. Let me know if not, it's fine. I'm not gonna be as detailed about the products, but they will all be listed down below. And I'm just gonna chat a bit about what's happening in my life. I'm gonna be using this Good Molecules Silicone Free Priming Moisturizer. It's the first time I've used it, but I really like that it's silicone free and that they kind of, my hair is like all over the place. I am having a really hard time with my hair because first of all, I do feel like I've overtoned it and now it's kind of grayish, which I don't dislike. I do feel like my roots get way less tacky when my hair is ashy versus when it's kind of like golden-ish. They look really bad. I don't know why. Does anyone else think this or it's just like my stupid mind? So I'm going to be mixing two foundations like I almost always do and my two of today are going to be the SL other new one that I've reviewed on the channel and I'm going to link it here in case you want to watch because it's one of my favorites at the moment but I'm also going to mix a little bit of the Urban Naked one. This is super dewy, this is super matte. I'm going to try to go a little bit in the middle. I wanted to actually talk about where we are right now like quarantining and everything. I am quarantining in the UK in case you didn't know that. I struggled a lot with the decision of kind of of if I was going to stay here or go to Portugal and meet my family. But at the end of the day, I feel like if it's a month long quarantine, which it's gonna be longer, I'd love to be with my family. But at the same time, I wouldn't wanna be anywhere that isn't my home, especially with my dogs and everything. Also, I don't know if my boyfriend would be like quarantining in this, with his own family, with me. It is like a little hard to not be with my family at the moment, but you know. We FaceTime like literally every day. The worst thing of not having gone down there is that I don't have a balcony or anything. And I see my family like sunbathing in the garden. And I'm like, son of a bitch. Cause honestly, I haven't gone on vacation and probably sunbathed in like two years or something. And it's starting to get to me. Portuguese person should not be held back from sunbathing. It ain't natural. In any case, I do get to go out a few times a day to walk my dogs, so I do get a bit of sunshine. Although, there has been so much drama in our development area around dogs because most people are like, oh, you can't walk your dogs off lead, it's very irresponsible. And I'm like, I get it. This is a Charlotte Tilbury Magic Away concealer. I get what you're worried about, but people who are telling me this have like mini poodles, mini poodle crosses, and I'm like, I get it. Your dog does not need to be off lead, but I have two whippets and a flat. And if I don't let them off lead, they will destroy my house and possibly get like behavior issues from it because it's it's just not normal for them not to run. It'd be really hard. We tried it for like two days or something to just walk them on a lead and it was unbearable. It just was not doable. Uh, because they had so much pent up energy. You know, whippets, a lot of people think that they are really high energy. The thing is, they sleep for most of the day, but they do, they do have like bursts of energy. So I would say they need to run like once, twice a day, uh, once at least. And if they don't get one, then they might get very frustrated, especially if they're young pups like mine. Dobby is two and Shishka is three and they are still very high energy. So I know maybe some of y'all are gonna judge me, but we have been letting them off the lead. We have been trying to go out alike at odd times, so we don't particularly meet other people, but there's a lot of dogs around the area, so sometimes we do. I feel like slightly guilty, but at the same time, I don't feel like there's any other choice for us. And then this weekend, we, we actually live in like, it's not a gated community, but it's, I mean, it's a gated community, but the gate is always open. So it's kind of like anyone can walk in, but there is like a community inside. But then inside that community, there's an even smaller like gated enclosure, which is where I live. And we kind of let them during the weekend, there was no one outside. We let the dogs off for a run kind of around the enclosure. Cause we thought, and they don't meet other dogs outside. It's just better. And then we got people complained about us to the concierge that our dogs were off lead. It wasn't even because of quarantine, it was just like, they don't like dogs being off lead. And it's just been a massive like head fuck because I've, I've gotten into so many arguments about this. <laughs> feel free to tell me if you think I'm wrong. Cause I, I feel like if people, instead of telling me that I'm wrong, they could offer up solutions. Like, what would you do? So that has been like the most stressful thing during lockdown, for sure. 
if I had dogs that didn't need to run, I would not have let them go. I'm in the at risk group, so I have no joy in putting myself out there. I'm scared to death. Well, I shouldn't be saying to death, but literally I am scared to death. I am scared of dying. I had a neurothorax like a few years back. And so my right lung can't breathe for shit. And so I am really scared of getting the virus and I'm scared of passing it on. I'm gonna be using my milk powder. I am so itchy, like, oh, I have my face so itchy. My acne has been horrible. I don't know if it's because quarantine started or also because I have stopped now my antibiotics and it's probably because of that. I'm just now on spirulactone. My dermatologist is in Portugal and they're not even open, I don't think. I don't know if they do Skype consultations. I need to call and kind of figure it out. Just gonna apply a little bit of lip balm. I'm applying the Alpha H Absolute Lip Perfector Nude Blush. I really love this. It's kind of minty, but not like it doesn't stink. I've actually been doing my brows with pomade lately, very recently, but I kind of like it. Instead of kind of going over my whole brow, because I think that is why I didn't like pomade before, because I used to do the whole brow and that was too much for me. Now I just do like, I just fill in the gaps. I'm using the ABH top. Um, and the taupe shade is like practically my shade, maybe a little bit warmer. And it really imitates the hair perfectly. If you just do like, what was I saying? I don't even know what I was talking about right now. I honestly have been working just as hard or maybe even harder than when, since quarantine started. The warm weather gets me really motivated. I feel like I was such in a good place work-wise. I didn't want to lose that. And another thing is now that Miguel's always working from home. He can help me sometimes do stuff that I can do by myself. So I'm just gonna apply some brow gel and I'm using the ABA, no, the Benefit Brow Setter, 24 hour brow setter. And I like this cause they were like crisp. I was gonna go to Portugal cause we we're gonna plan our wedding, as you know, or maybe you don't. We had to reschedule our wedding. And so it's gonna be in September 2020. And now it's gonna be in June, 2021. We had to throw out the invites we already had printed. And that's a massive bummer. Cause it was a few, a, a lot of money kind of down. Well, not a lot, but a little bit of money kind of down the hatch. The venue was like really understanding of the whole pandemic situation. So I'm gonna be using the Ma Nabla soul blooming palette in a way i'm like happy about it because i don't have to stress about it anymore i was really stressing about it uh because i didn't think i was gonna have enough time to plan it with this quarantine and i honestly have no idea like what's gonna happen i don't know if when i'll be able to go back and visit my family it's kind of sad i mean i think portugal are planning on opening the not barriers but like they're opening their borders that's what i mean like next month i think but we in the UK were like, we're so far behind. I had to like majorly change how I do content also. I don't think in my house specifically, I had a place where I could shoot outfits. And so now I'm kind of working towards that. We've kind of changed around our whole living room and I ordered some on the core stuff and I'm kind of creating or trying to create a sort of corner where I can actually shoot outfits in a cute way. I don't know, I don't have my house the way I wanted it to. Like, how's the course so expensive? It really frustrates me because I have like this perfect idea of how our house would be if I had it like all my way, but also we don't own our house when we rent. I really wanna own my house so that I can change everything. So I can change the tiles, I can change every like little thing that I want. Instead of like changing the whole house, I'm just focusing on one little corner. So I'm gonna go into this NYX palette and go into this one. I don't even like this combination of colors. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm gonna try to go into this little single here. And this is from Chaos Makeup, I think. And it's called Wildflower. I'll link a down below. Well, this is kind of greenish. I mean, it's kind of mintish. I've been enjoying TikTok. I don't know if you guys are on TikTok yet. I know that it's kind of like, until you get to it, it's kind of hard to understand. But when, like, once you get into it, it's really fun. Also, let me know what shows you guys are watching, specifically on Netflix. I just finished Kim's Convenience and I really, really love it. It's hilarious. We also watched Shit's Creek before that. And I really, really like that. It's completely my type of comedy, very Arrested Development-ish. I do prefer comedies though, because they're so lighthearted and in these times. Then I try to apply lashes while I'm speaking. I usually do these off camera because I'm really bad at applying lashes, but 
These are the Primo Lashes uh, Dainty D12. Shit. I really like the D11, but those are a bit much. I was thinking something more like wispy for this. I've also been watching a lot of murder stuff. Um, I still watch a lot of like BuzzFeed Unsolved. I love the last podcast on the left. I've been watching, I've been listening to a lot of podcasts. Also be watching the Billy Sarian Murder Mystery Makeup Mondays and the Kate Kendall Ray videos. But let me know if there's like any show or any podcast or anything that is outstanding and that covers like not very well-known cases, let me know. I've also been re-watching Scrubs because I'm listening to the Scrubs podcast. I don't know if you've ever seen Scrubs, but um, it is amazing. It's I think it's not for everyone. I've tried to recommend Scrubs to other people and they're all like, what the fuck you weirdo? But think about Scrubs, it's, it's a comedy, but it's a comedy with like, it's a quirky, very weird comedy. So Zach Braff and Donald Faison from the show are doing a podcast where you watch, re-watch podcast, and they're like doing it show episode by episode. And it's crazy because it has nine seasons, so there'll be a ton of episodes, but I'm really excited about it. I always re enjoy a rewatch. I like, there's a couple shows that I don't mind rewatching like a couple hundred times. And Scrubs is definitely one of those shows. Boy Meets World, which I haven't rewatched in a real long time and I have to. This bitch won't obey my command. Stay! Parks and Rec, The Office, Brooklyn Nine-Nine, which isn't even finished, but I still love to rewatch it. The Big Bang Theory, which I know some people hate and say it's not funny. I really do think it's funny. I do think it's very cliche at times. Sometimes unoriginal. The characters really make the show, but watching like the whole series and how the like characters develop and everything, I think it's really comforting to watch for some reason. <gasps> I think I've done it. But I'm wearing the Fenty Beauty Mascara, which is amazing for applying like under lashes because it applies so little mascara but this for me does not work as a regular mascara like without lashes it's so subtle so let me know down below if you use fake lashes every day how do you take off your lashes without you know taking some of your own lashes off i've been trying to like mist them with an oily solution beforehand and kind of trying to melt them away but sometimes still some of my lashes go with it so how do you do this because i see people just like straight up ripping them off i'm like my lashes could never i'm gonna apply now the aiko lengthening skinny brush mascara and talked about also about this on my stories and this is the perfect mascara for lower lashes if you like them to be like wispy and twiggy style my lower lashes are so different from my upper lashes i need to use separate mascaras for both I need to do a Twiggy inspired look also. People are getting crazy this left on. Like, honestly, there's been so much drama on the Facebook group of my like development area. People are like ratting on each other for every single thing. The other day we were playing Destiny Child at like 3 p.m. It wasn't that loud, like it was a little loud, but it wasn't that loud. Someone from the building across the road complained to the concierge about our base being too strong. They didn't even say the, the music was too strong. They were like, the bass is too strong. Please cut it out. At 3 p.m. on a Sunday. Aside from that, like there's so many, much drama in the group. So the other day, someone complained. So there's this restaurant right here that does takeaway. And someone complained that the pasta was too salty. And then they were like, this is the way we do food. It's not salty at all. It's like, this is... Our food is for adults with like mature palate. Apparently the lady who said the pasta was too salty was trying to leave a bad review on the restaurant's like Facebook and they kept deleting it. And then she went on like the group Facebook for our building. She was like, can you believe they're deleting like the pasta was salty? And it was the most erratic post ever. It, the comments, it went from zero to a hundred in like five seconds. People are like super passionate about that restaurant, especially because it's one of the only restaurants that is around here. I've tried takeaway only from that restaurant. I've never eaten in and I don't love it. People were so passionate like, why are you exposing them here? Blah, blah, blah. There was some small business. No one deserves this. And she's like, I'm just letting you know, like if you like salty, salty pasta, you can go there. But if you don't, don't go there. I can't even explain how it happened, but it went up so fast that eventually a guy just told another girl that a bus should drive onto her and she should die. <laughs> it was literally that 
dramatic. People are so dramatic. In a place like this where Facebook drama is always <laughs> popping. You don't even need Netflix. Always, people are always like criticizing each other. I feel like lockdown is really bringing the worst out of people. They're so, I don't know if they're frustrated for being at home, but people are starting to go crazy. Luckily, like in my building, like my own building without being the other buildings, everyone's really like, super nice. No one's ever complained to us. And we have two dogs that sometimes like bark a little loud and no one's ever complained about us, which is really nice. We've been baking, baking each other treats. I baked a Kinder Bueno cheesecake. And sometimes they just knock on our door. Then when we open the door, there's like a cake on the floor. I've kind of given up on most of my highlighters, except these, my powder highlighters, except these novel ones that I keep reaching out to. I still pair them with like a dewy thing, but they're so pretty. I wasn't feeling this look in the beginning, but I actually kind of like it right now. So I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. I'm just gonna apply a little tiny bit of the Future Dew Glossier just on top of my cheeks. By the way, I thought I wanna, like I forgot about it, but I wanna give a shout out to my mums. So my mom is doing these like beach bags, straw beach bags. She's not putting them like outwards on sale on places yet. I think she's gonna try to, to put them on Etsy. So I'll let you know when that happens. But in the meantime, just check her Instagram. I'm gonna put up little photos of here of what she's doing. Put that link below in case you wanna check it out. She will ship worldwide, although she has to check like shipping rates and everything before. So I thought I would let you guys know because I love straw beach bags. Um, I have a ton and I'm so happy that she's doing them because I need to get more. My mama is a cool girl. So this is the Nabla Touch Me. And actually, Nabla just released a new collection, which I'm really excited to review. Just gonna buff it a little bit. I love these glosses. I, I need to get me a clear one, but I wish they came out with a nude, not shimmery one, like a milky nude. That's pretty much it for today. But let me know if you like this video. Give it a thumbs up. Let me know what else you wanna see with with me, like on my YouTube this quarantine. Subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to click the little bell button if you know, if you wanna know every single time I upload. And um, thank you so much. Bye.